vient d'arriver au Star Casino, c'est sur cette table ici même que je vais jouer dans un instant. Je vais vous montrer un petit peu les coulisses. C'est très euh, sympa ce casino. C'est très chill, il y a une bonne ambiance, il y a une grosse poker room, il y a des tables qui tournent toutes les limites. Euh, et là voilà, je vais vous montrer un petit peu avec combien je commence. Chaque stack de 100 dollars, c'est 2000 dollars. Donc là il y a 20 jetons de 100 dollars, c'est 2000. 4000, 6000, 8000, 10 000 dollars. 10 000 dollars. 20 000 dollars. Ici on a 20 jetons de 1000, donc 20 000, 40 000, 60 000, 80 000, 100 000. 100 000 dollars à bureau, 110, 120. Donc, ça c'est des jetons de 5 000 dollars l'unité. Donc là j'ai 20 jetons de 5 000, c'est 100 000. Et là j'ai 18 jetons de. Euh, pardon, 18 ou 16 18 jetons. Non, 20, 16, 60, 5000. 25, 10. Voilà, 16, 60, 5000, donc 80 000 dollars, 180. 180, 280, 290, 300 000 dollars. Voilà, tout bleu pour pas que je ne. pas que je perde une maison. de ce vlog pour vous parler de mon ressenti avant une partie comme ça alors j'ai jamais posé 300 000 sur une table j'ai déjà posé peut-être 200 200 000 la dernière fois là il y a de bac c'était déjà mon la plus grosse somme que j'ai risqué en fait donc c'est des moments importants dans une euh, carrière de joueur de cash game on va dire même si aujourd'hui je suis je suis plus encore joueur de tournoi mais euh, je fais du deux quoi euh, j'adore trop le cash game pour arrêter comme ça j'ai fait une erreur clairement là c'est d'être fatigué donc ça c'est mon erreur, le sommeil c'est ultra important, donc là je suis fatigué, je dormi 5 heures. J'avais un tournoi invité, euh, invité dans un tournoi de crypto, enfin genre avec que des gens du monde de la crypto, à Opocargo Studio. Tout. Il y avait notamment à ma table Charlie Lee, le créateur du, du, euh, du Litecoin quand même. Il y avait euh, Tom Douane aussi, euh, Phil Helmut. J'ai jump au win, je suis allé jouer le 10K du win, c'est le... Deuxième plus gros tournoi de l'année en termes de price pool, 10 millions de dollars garantis. Je démarre avec 40 000 jetons, je finis avec genre 624 000, enfin 15 starting stack et demi. Le chip lead de très loin, je crois. Le deuxième doit avoir 320 000 ou un truc comme ça, enfin bref. Ça sera sûrement le chip leader, je serai sûrement le chip leader des 3D1, même si on a eu que le D1 qui est arrivé. C'est assez irréel, j'ai run incroyable. Euh, plutôt bien joué, mais j'ai run incroyable. Du coup j'ai fini ça à minuit et là, là c'est l'erreur que j'ai fait je pense mais bon il y avait une partie, on m'a appelé pour une partie dans la Ivy's Room, c'est la grosse room de l'area. On l'appelle maintenant Table One, c'est la table 1 à l'area. Et donc il y avait Tom Douane, Phil Helmut et plusieurs acteurs du monde de la crypto justement qui étaient dans le, dans le tournoi. Donc voilà je suis fatigué, j'espère que ça va pas... J'en suis conscient, donc je vais forcément prendre des décisions qui sont moins bonnes. Donc, euh, il faut que je sois conscient de ça. Donc, avant de vouloir prendre une grosse décision, euh, pas standard, il faut que je me rappelle que je suis fatigué. Donc, du coup, que je prenne ça dans l'équation et que du coup, euh, je ne change pas trop mon jeu par rapport à ça. Je vais commander à manger parce que je n'ai pas mangé, ça ne s'est pas servi non plus. Et bon, la partie ne commence pas tout de suite. Donc, le temps que je commande à manger, on aura peut-être. J'aurai peut-être mangé pour que la partie commence. Euh, je ne sais plus aligner les mots. Voilà, tout de suite. We got the straddle on. 100, 200, 400. I'm sorry, I can't play. Ronnie gonna raise it up. Yeah. Let me run this no up. No viral gonna just right. call with the king queen suited here. And if I was gonna jump inside his head, I imagine this may be because he thinks players are opening much tighter with the straddle on. He may prefer to three bet the offsuit hands here instead of the suit of Broadway's. Julie makes the flush here on the turn. Oh, 
Julie going to make just the call. I like it. He does make the call. We're going to go three ways to this turn. Already 17K in the middle. Three ways to the river, I mean. Nine on the river. And now Yo Viral with the best of it once again. Pulls back in the lead. Pretty easy hero folds. Like he's blapping, blap, blap. Ace is no good. I can't give you one. I like that. I'm gonna fold. It's not, I don't have a good price for that. See, Garrett's still the big winner on the night. Julie already up 10K. Jack Steinberg says, Squish, I keep telling my girlfriend this show is sponsored by Chobani, but she doesn't believe me. Can you assist? Well, Jack Steinberg's girlfriend. Give you my money. How much? 1,000. Yo, I'm very curious about your bed size. Sometimes they do like three times of the B plan, right? You do two times. Why? <laughs> I don't think you're going to get an answer to that one. I will figure it out by myself. I no, you... I'll tell you. Okay. <laughs> when the blinds are bigger, he gets very nervous. Oh. So he wants the pot to be smaller. Yeah. I see. I got you. Yeah. It's too much money. Yeah. So he raises 1,200, bigger pot. He could lose more. Yeah, yeah that's what it is. Really? No. Are you serious? No, no. No, he's no. joking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I almost believe you. <laughs> Look at this flop. Yo, viral. <laughs> Open ended with the flush draw. Why does he do that? Man, you guys are thinking about all the wrong <laughs> shit. Raise it up. All the things. So, so when I play with him. You find that other river where you call? No way. No? Nope. You don't call? Yo, Bob, we're going to raise it up right away. Uh, but, I, I, I was just hoping nobody could get the straight because I have two tens in my hand. Hard for the straight. Ronnie's got a pretty good hand to peel at least <laughs> once. He's got the ace of spades. All the tens were out of the deck. Got the nine in his hand, blocking two pair and sets. I thought I was. Yeah. And on this turn, Yo Viral does bink the straight. No, not this hand. We're talking about the last hand. No. If you were me sitting there with tens, would you call it that? If you are in my position, bad. Small bet from Yo Viral. I like the sizing here in position. No need to go huge. See, Ronnie doesn't have that much behind. Ronnie moves in. Ronnie just moves in. Yo Viral snaps it. And Ronnie is drawing stone cold dead. As you want. I go twice. Twice? Twice. I'm behind. Twice. It doesn't matter. They could run it 649 oh. times. No, I didn't put him on a hand. What? <laughs> Seven, eight of spades. Nice. He's moving the chips Very across nice. and he's top. Wait. Nice hand. No, yes. Yeah, Bad timing. No, you, you know why it's called gay waiter? No. Queen three. Cumulative winnings brought to you he's by the of the gay and Jack Market. Uh, <laughs> waiter, waiter. So, no, Queen 3. Queen Garrett up three. nearly 40k. Three. No, uh, drink, drink. Make sure you expand to him. You got it. Look, like, you're doing a great job. No, touch, touch. I like that. I mean, these guys miss everything. They win a big hand. Too much, too much. Big ship Eli no, waking up with Jax here. Yeah. <laughs> puts in the three bet. So Yo Viral opens. Eli puts in the three bet. Ronnie goes for the cold call. 
Not imagine with the dead money out there, Yo Viral is going to four bet in this configuration. Seven thousand eight hundred. There it is. Seven thousand eight We're gonna see a big pot. We're gonna see a big pot. Once Ronnie calls and there's dead money out there, Yo Viral just incentivized to four bet. Extremely linear, and by linear I mean his good hands, his better hands, and his best hands. Just because Ronnie puts 2,000 out there that's essentially dead. Ronnie's going to four bet if he has aces, kings, ace, king. And so Yo Viral just going to be so far ahead of Ronnie. He's getting an overlay. He's going to be putting in a four bet with all his very good hands here. And ace, queen in his configuration, cutoff versus button versus blind qualifies as a very, very good hand. Ronnie now just put in a horrible spot. This is why cold calling three bets, especially in games where people will punish you for that, usually just not the most optimal strategy. Here we go, 18,000 going at this flop. Yo Viral, the pre-flop raiser and pre-flop four better. I imagine he may just go quarter pot here with his entire range and start playing this hand on the turn. It is just over quarter pot, about 30%. continue as a call in position. SPR just about one here. Four on the turn in a four bet pot. This card is pretty innocuous. Although some of Yo Viral's bluffs like ace five now get there. Yo Viral does pick up a gut shot, go along with his two overs. I wouldn't be surprised to see Yo Viral go small again here. He could go about 6,500 here, 7K, and then jam the river. And just put Eli in a horrible, horrible spot. Quarter pot, quarter pot, jam. Oh, and he does just check and give up. He just gives up. Figures that Eli has an overpair here. And figures that he's not getting him to fold. Eli, snap. 6, goes 6,500, which is the sizing I thought Yo Viral may go with here himself. Good sizing from Eli. Very good sizing. Gets protection. Doesn't need to go too big. Wants protection from a hand like Ace King. Doesn't need to go huge here because he just gets value owned by Aces, Kings, and Queens if he does. Very good sizing from Eli. And Yo Viral's going to call with Ace Queen high. Jack on the river. Eli makes top set. Imagine now when Yo Viral checks, if Yo Viral checks, that Eli's just going to jam. Now trying to get value from aces, kings, queens. All in? There it is. Yo Viral is thinking about it because Eli is really repping a hand like pocket eights, pocket jacks, pocket kings. I think Eli has played this hand great 
Love his turn sizing. Keeps your viral in there with all his ace king, all his ace queen. Your viral does make the fold. Eli scoops a nice pot. $70,000 in this one, Eli, with a profit of about 23 k in that pot. Well played right, from Eli. Well played. No, I said him, I put him on jacks, and he said that's what he has. Oh, really? So in good fold. Good fold. Nice fold. Amazing fold. Indiscriminately, and no, he's not going to be getting three-bet enough from Garrett behind, but Garrett doesn't want to be three-betting his, you know, the middling parts of his range, maybe the ace-10 suited. King, queen suited, pocket nines, hands like that, because Garrett's incentivized to call a lot and keep some of the players in behind who aren't professionals. But then again, Garrett does have to be three betting, not just the top of his range. So it's interesting to see how he constructs that three bet range and what type of hands he uses other than top of range. Always interesting for poker nerds like myself. Kind of get a peek inside the mind and see what Garrett's thinking, how he's constructing his polarized three bet range versus the other pro at the table. A lot going into that. These two are deep. Everybody else at the table a little bit shallower. Garrett in position. There's a lot going into it, so super curious to see how he comes up with the range. And Garrett's going to go 2x pot on this river, turning his hand into a bluff. Sticky spot. Stands up. He's got the two sixes in his hand. He blocks the straights, but no club. He's going to think about it. Probably be a slam dunk call if he had sixes with the club. I don't believe you, but I can't make this. Oh, yeah. I don't believe you. La game, elle est encore d'actualité. 3h du matin, on a commencé à 14h. Ça fait genre 13h qu'on joue. On est 3 in C'est Garrett, moi, et un mec qui s'est ramené après la game. Euh, il, en, il en voit partout. Il gagne 200 000 déjà. Donc Garrett doit gagner aussi 200, 300 000. Moi, je dois perdre 50 000 pour le moment. Euh, je perdais à un moment donné 100 000. Enfin bref, la game est folle. En jouant 300, 600 avec 600 big blind hantés. Voilà. Can you, can you witness how, how long we played? Um, right now, 15 hours. And you were dealing since two? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. The boss, best dealer. And uh, donc là, on joue trop indeed et c'est bourrin de fou. Donc là, voilà, Garrett, il est encore là. Garrett, for my vlog. What's up, everybody? It's a long game, hein? Et euh, voilà, il faut être mentalement au top. Euh, J'en ai fait beaucoup dans ma vie des longues games comme ça, après elle est très chère. Je vais aller euh, aux toilettes là rapidement, on a fait une pause pipi. Et on reprend. Je tiendrai au courant du résultat final. Voilà, on n'a rien lâché. 6h du mat, 14h de jeu, comme à l'autre session qu'on a fait. Et je finis, je vais compter mon stack. Bon là, il y a 100k, il faut qu'il me faut fil des racks euh, plus grands. Ça c'est... 20 jetons de 5200k. Oh, 100k. 
Rebecca. Là, on a ce qu'on a mis. Et le reste, c'est le profit. Ça fait plaisir. 20 000. 22 000. 24 000. Et genre, là, il y a 126 000. Quoi. 26 000 dollars de profit. 16 heures de jeu. Je suis mort. Je suis explosé. Merci d'avoir suivi cette vidéo. Et uh, thanks to Ryan Feldman. Thanks Ryan to invite me in this show. This was crazy game. Crazy, crazy game. Thank you. Live at the Hustler. Allez les suivre sur YouTube. On vous met le lien dans la description. Le lien de leur chaîne YouTube. Il y a des parties de baisers. De baisers. Il y a des replays de baisers aussi. Des mains de fous. Immortalisés sur leur chaîne YouTube. Allez les follow. Allez euh, vous abonner à ce gros show de poker qui est clairement l'un des plus gros au monde. Avec la Yovirals Game, bien sûr Pouce bleu sur cette vidéo. Et les joueurs de Cash Game, un petit commentaire pour euh, vos meilleures sessions. Racontez-moi votre meilleure session. Ah ouais, euh, ça peut être... Euh, voilà, Racontez-moi un petit peu votre meilleure session en quelques lignes. A tous, j'irai voir les commentaires.